Thank you to everybody that's been uh, saying it's nice to see a video coming out. It's taken me two weeks to get around to editing from filming the other one. So that one's up and done and you've seen that. So the next auction lot's coming already. So it's all a bit random again, uh, brick a bracky and stuff. So I'll turn you around and show you. Oh, thanks, by the way, to anybody that's helped me with suggestions on uh, listings and things like that. So that's been brilliant. Uh, right, turn you around. Right, so I'll start with this, which is the... Right, you'll have to excuse me. I'm using a coat to photograph it because these are adding on to a multi-listing that I had for this Evesham, uh, Royal Worcester Evesham. Egg cuddlers, if you don't know what they are. And... Um, I've identified what all the bits are, thinking I could just add them to the current listing, but I can't. I've had to photograph because I ain't got any of them uh, on the listing already. So I've got to do that. Uh, this is a beautiful set. This is a Susie Cooper, probably 60s. Um, and it's in blue. Sometimes they're in green Irish. You don't see it very often. Uh, and I've put the saucers on that went with the uh, the other one that I've, I missed, I missed listing them anyway, I mean I listed other, so the Susie Cooper, that's on, these are going on later today, I've got the cranberry glass all washed, so they're nice, um, some of the stuff came on this tray, it's just a nice plastic uh, daffodil tray, I think it's rather nice, um, I've got a job lot of jewellery, um, I think I paid 22 for this, it's probably a load of rubbish, but we'll have a dig. It gives me, gives me something to enjoy digging in anyway. And uh, yeah, there's that and a tinful underneath, biscuit tinful. And then brasses. I've got brasses this time. Uh, I've got pestle and mortar. Um, do you know what this is? This is like an old tilt, tilt top table. Uh, and you can tilt it up, but it doesn't stay up. It's designed to be like that. Uh, it's a candle light reflector. So you have your candle in front of it, increases your light. I've got all sorts. I mean, look, I've, I've got a stand-up shoe. I've got, got a mm -mm squirrel. Uh, I like this. This is described on the auction catalogue as an Art Nouveau pen tray with inkwell. It's obviously been used for candles, and I don't know whether it's, it definitely looks Art Nouveau. It's got little feet on it. But I don't know whether it's a chamber light, you know, when you carry a candle to bed, uh, or whether it is a pen tray. I'm not sure. Still researching, but I can't find one the same. But it's got some lovely detail. Uh, and loads of, I'm going to wash that out, it's got loads of the uh, residue from when people have been cleaning it. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, and also another chamber, chamber light candle holder. I think this is off a, this looks like it's off a coal scuttle, but there's nothing else to go with it. And a few brasses, um, what do they call it? Tobacco arner or something. Um, couple of ashtrays but they've got like playing cards in the middle ducks we've got ducks we've got a uh, welsh hat um snuff thing candle snuffer i think yeah and that's it uh did i get any pictures um oh i've got a couple what did i get what did i get this time uh oh this this is one thing that I really did want. Look at that embroidery on that, look. Isn't that beautiful? Now, they could have embroidered the whole thing, but they haven't. They've left that as just the, the tapestry uh, picture in the background and embroidered all that. Hollyhocks and roses and delphiniums. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, so I got that and I got a couple of others that some have already gone to the charity shop um, and the others are just normal sort of landscape things so yeah so that's all we bought this time so that's what I'm up to right I'm going to crack on tea time 
Well, <coughs> when is it? Um, it's um, Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Oh, I don't know. Whatever day it is. <laughs> I've not been up long. Um, whatever day it is, I finished all that lot. I listed it and it's in the loft. Uh, so I can move that coat now and um, get Greg out and get round to listing that. Fitting all that lot in the loft to bring its problems though because I was running out of space for china. So I've had to bring these down. These were tucked away uh, in the corner. Well, on the bottom shelf up there. Um, for anybody that doesn't know. The cake drums, and there's loads of different sizes because, of course, I used to do wedding cakes. So, I brought them down thinking I could fit them in the cupboard, but the big ones won't fit. And I don't know why I want to put them in the cupboard anyway. Why don't I just list them? I might do a find them all from wherever I've got them and do a multi-variation listing. Uh, the only thing is, you, you have to really, because they're like um, condensed cardboard. Uh, so I don't want them to get damaged and there's very few of them that would actually fit in Lars' letter so I might do a one post pick as many as you like sort of thing yeah so that's that's a job that I've got to try and sort out today um, shall I show you my garden I'll, I'll show you my roses I'm not going down because I'd have to come back up um, I'm really pleased look at them Pink ones at the front and the peach ones at the back smell divine, which is why I bought them. And uh, when I sat on the patio the other night, I could smell them drifting down. Lovely. Uh, and now the bad border. That's good border, bad border. Meadow. My son says, I like your meadow. <laughs> anyway, the gap is there is because mm, there. Is because Phil dug some big thistles out, but he's not got the dock leaves or anything yet. He don't dig any more until I'm supervising, otherwise I'll lose those poppies and all sorts. Look at the hostas. Look at them. Amazing, aren't they, them? You need slug pellets round them, and if they're in a pot, you need Vaseline round, round the holes or underneath or the top of the pot. Slugs don't like that. Actually, it's more snails that's the problem with my hostas, but they've not been eaten yet. So they will do it at some point. So yeah, can't say the weather's been fine enough to be out much, really. And I'm I'm trying to be busy, so yeah, what shall I do next? Oh, I've got videos to upload. I'm gonna show you my poorly fingers. Uh, they're not bleeding or anything, so don't panic. But, uh, I did mention I'd got sore fingers, so I've, they're a lot better than they were. Uh, and that's an allergy to one of the nail stuff things. Uh, so I'm going to do a video on my nail channel. But that, believe it or not, is good. And this hand here, this thumb, it had like re where that looks a bit red on the end. It was like a massive lump that was dry and going under my nail. And I had to scrape it off because it were a bit like having a cone. So, yeah, that is actually good. But look at my bloody nails now. Anyway, I think I know what it is. So I'm going to do a video about it. And uh, I'm back to square one. But I'll give him a break for a bit. I will be doing them again. I, I, I won't give him without a fight. I've got to get these done. But first, a cup of coffee, I reckon. Right, so I've been in that cupboard under there that's always tucked away behind this table. And I've pulled this lot out. I've got I've got quite a few to go at, haven't I? Now, there was random toys under here that's been under here for ages. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that lot listed. And then I'll do, a, like I say, a multi-variation listing. One for, I don't know, I might put square and everything on the same one. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and then they can go under there so I can pick them easily rather than them being in the corner. don't know how quick they'll sell, but I'll have to put them on it. Cheaper than the going rate just to get rid, I think. 
and uh, what's next? Uh, right, I've got oh the toys that came out from under there. I've put in one of these because obviously I'd emptied. I'd emptied these, so the top one under the lids now has got those toys in. It's just sickle bricks and connects and things like that. Um, while I get these out of the way, shoved under there, and then I've got room to actually get them back out. Tell you what I've not done yet. I've not done these. Because I, I had all the china coming in. And I thought I can get a lot more listed in a day doing the china than I can doing the Playmobil, so... I've still got this lot to do. Not done the glass, but done all the china. So, yeah, still got them to do. So, I've still got to clean the horses. So, um, uh, what did people suggest? Philippa said to get the pen off with hair spray. Uh, and somebody else, oh my God, I can't remember who. I'm so sorry. I can't remember who, but isopropyl alcohol, which I've got loads of that downstairs, so. Yeah, I'm going to have a go with both on that and I'll get back to that in a bit. Just just ignore that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Well, look at this. Right, back in a bit. So when you're doing a multi-listing, you're best to make a list. So we've got round ones, square ones, that's all the sizes. And then I've been back through and had a look at what stock I've got. And these are comp prices and then my prices. So I've done it. And... Uh, once you get to know what you're doing with these, they're fairly easy. So people could come in then and choose between uh, square or round. Uh, and then it'll change the prices automatically. And I've just left it at that photo because you don't need an individual picture of each one. So that's, that's, that's that job done. And uh, now I've got to go and put them all away. And um, put them in some plastic to keep them clean because they've all been stored away uh, in the light in the plastic but once I start opening them and selling them individually then I'll uh, I'll put them all under there whoop and they fell over what have I tried on or a tray uh, I'm going to put them all in there in some plastic and I'm going to get those out and I'm going to put those in one of these boxes because I'm sick of seeing them and my brother will think I've done them then. He keeps saying, have you thought of selling any of them? <laughs> well, shall I go and put them in washer? Oh, I don't know. Right, I'll, I'll uh, update you in a bit. You know, as we say in Yorkshire, there's all a summit. <laughs> Before I could put that lot under there, <laughs> I decided it needed a good wash out. So <laughs> I've got these out anyway. I've pulled two of the empty boxes that I had and um, I'm sorting them into the sort of damask tablecloths and things that are a bit more sturdy. So I'll just put them in the washer uh, on my normal wash. Uh, things that are a little bit more delicate, but not too bad. Um, so I'll put them in on a delicate wash and there's um, embroidery going in there as well. So things that need hand washing like these little sort of tatting uh yeah how much work's gone into that awesome isn't it uh so these little things like this tatting and crochet little dressing table set what i'll do I'll, I'll probably soak them in a bowl up here i've got some beautiful things in here look at these embroidered placemats they're lovely i was laughing with my brother the other day about when we were at school even he had to do it in home economics. The white boys had to do it. I think it's because they, they swapped them over from doing metalwork to doing home economics so that the girls didn't feel left out from doing exciting things. So we had to learn. I mean, this is back in... When was I born? 59. So 59. Probably would have been early 70s. We had to learn how to set a tray. <laughs> so you had a tray cloth and all your handles and spoons and everything had to go the same way. I thought, fancy doing that then. Honestly, as if. Yeah, so, um, tray cloths, old tray cloths or uh, place settings. Uh, but these are lovely, bright, vibrant colours. So I've got the embroidered stuff, so that's going in there. And uh, these are pretty. These are um, commercially made. 
commercially embroidered, not hand embroidered, but they're still really, really pretty on linen. So they can go in there, yeah. So I finished getting them sorted. I just want to show you a couple of my favourites. Uh, this one, because it's so simple, but the colours are beautiful. Just a little cross stitch tray cloth. And then this, look how fine that is. That's a full circle. It's probably three foot six across. But do you remember when they used to have, oh, no, not many of you remember, but you'll have seen in programmes, <laughs> where they used to have like a, a, a small round trestle table with a f cloth to the floor and then a lace top on. And that would have gone on there and it would have just flowed lovely around the, around the edge or in the centre of the, the table. Beautiful. Even on top of a piano, they would put lace cloths. Um, I'm not 150, I am only 61, but we have grandmas, you know. <laughs> and uh, this one I love. I think it's it's either wisteria or lilac, but with the length of the flowers, I think it's probably wisteria. But I think that is stunning. Very pretty. Uh, and another one, which at first I thought was a machined one, until I've looked closely, because what they do sometimes is buy the cloth and then embroider, so the cloth might have got lace around it or be starched or whatever. But this one, when I've looked at it closely, um, I often look at the back to see whether you can see the snips of thread that are cut off, look like that but some are much tidier in the work than others, so that can be a bit difficult. But if it was machined, all the flowers would be identical, yeah? Well, I've pulled two corners together that should be the same. So if you look at, if you look at these leaves here, those are quite precise, those three, whereas that one there isn't quite as precise. So that made me look even further, and I picked these out, so you've got, one, two, three, one, two, three. So they're all full and those two are halves. Yeah. And then in this one, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. But that one's a half and that one's a full. So they've either been space limited or they've forgotten not finished that one off. Um, yeah, so look, you look at the differences. Yeah, and then, when I've had a look, um, can you see all the individual stitches like this? It's got an edging bound on it, and then it turned over, give it weight, and then it's all been hand-attached, this lace. It's incredible. Incredible work. Yeah, so that's those. And, uh, yeah, a few more few more to go. It's like a sampler one there, look. And then I'm off to the washing machine. Right, it's Friday. I've decided it's clothing day. I decided to do, if you see it, list it. So I'm going to start at this end, starting with this clothing. Uh, I've got Greg out. Do you remember Greg? I've not seen him for a while with his uh, six pack. <laughs> Yeah, so I got him out and uh, we've got the trusty equipment that we need. One of them, a pair of them tape measure. This is on its last piece of sticky, so I'm going to wrap some uh, tape around it. And uh, it'll not need much looking after this really because it's come out of my husband's wardrobe. He's had a clear out, so that don't fit him anymore. Um, so, uh, I've left the shirt on. Shirt don't come with it, but I thought it made the jacket look nicer. Uh, so that's that. I've got a few more jackets to list. And uh, then I think it's tea time. So I've been washing these. I'm, I've got so far through it, but you've got to do your household washing as well, haven't you? You can't have them all over the place. We've had rain for a couple of days, so that's good. Um, that's the last of the bundles. They've been selling really well. Uh, there's only two left upstairs from what I listed. Uh, and there's this mega bundle of 18, uh, 9 to 12 months. So, quite an assortment in that one. 
so that's that uh, and then i've got to get my pictures done and uh i'll just turn you around so i'm going to leave it there because i've absolutely no idea how many snippets i've done i don't know what's going to be in it <laughs> just, it's just potluck and then i come to edit and i think oh i didn't do that bit or oh i forgot i'd done that anyway I'll leave that as it is and try and get uploaded, otherwise it's going to be July before I get it done. Love you loads. Take care. Thank you ever so much for watching. Excuse me, Barnet. Um, I'm off. Got to get some work done. Bye.